Hey, I'm David, 23 years old. I like to get outside, explore, and definitely DIY some stuff. So, this is the roof tent I built about six months ago. And here are some of the problems I have with it. So the first major issue I have with this tent is temperature regulation. And that comes down to mostly material of the walls and door here, as well as the roof material, which is an aluminum composite material. Another issue I'd like to solve is visibility out of the tent. So as it is now on a nice, nice day like today, it's easy to look out the tent, open everything up, you get a nice breeze. The issue I have is, is when it's raining or snowing or windy, you have to close everything up and it's a little bit claustrophobic. The last issue I'd like to solve is security. This is not very secure. This won't keep anyone out or my dog in at night. So this is my solution to those three issues and many more. This is a hard-sided rooftop camper. And to the astute eye, you notice this hinge system is actually a patented technology of Redtail Overland. Redtail Overland makes these awesome campers, um, fully carbon fiber, they're like 250 pounds, and they've got this sweet hinge that I'm trying to emulate. Now this is actually a patented te technology along with a lot of their other stuff in this camper. I'm not super familiar with how patents work. You'll have to look into that yourself. Um, but they patent the hinge, as well as the front hinges, um, doors, as well as some windows. Super awesome campers, but definitely out of my budget. And I'm not sure when they'll start making these for customers. Now, something I did notice about their, their pictures was it looked like they used stainless steel piano hinges for the majority of their, their hinging systems. Um, I'm planning on using a polyolefilin, a polypropylene, a uh, live style hinge that just, just has less material in the middle that allows the plastic to hinge without an actual mechanism, like pin and slot. I'd be curious to know if they tried this style. I would think that it'd be more, it'd be better for water intrusion because it could have a, a better bond with the material like a composite the carbon fiber they're using. Um, maybe they tried it before and it wasn't as effective as it sounds on paper. So how does this actually solve the problems I talked about earlier? The first problem was temperature regulation. So that's solved, we can look at by using a section analysis of this. So as you can tell, if I go slow, maybe not, I can't show you in the top. But throughout the walls, you can tell there's gaps in the middle between each the inner panel and the outer panel the outer panel is a 0 0.063 inch aluminum sheet and then the the inner shell here it, inner skin is an hdpe eighth inch thick skin and as we go through in the middle here we actually have half inch of insulation throughout with these half inch square tubing to provide some some structure i'll have to i'll have to see after i actually get materials and sort of assemble the the sandwich panels how many of these i'll need the fewer i need the better because weight is definitely the problem here so this insulation actually continues throughout the entirety of the camper um, in in the base of it there's an inch thick insulation as well as the door and this is mostly for making the actual door portion of the door so there's plenty of purchase and structural ability of the door to hold up the camper so next up is visibility and pretty clearly that's that's solved with this great big window on the front um, now again for both weight i'll have to test out these these panels see how much they weigh in person um, i've got a rough calculation of how much they'll weigh uh, but i really won't know until i feel it out um, i'm also planning on putting 
some sort of skylight. Again, sort of want to put the tent together, know exactly where I'm going to lay down, um, sort of how that skylight will feel, and then I'll put it in. But that'll also really help with the visibility. Um, even when it's raining, you can st still see outside. And that's really what my goal is. And then again, adding on to the hard side aspect of this is the security. So these doors will lock, sort of a standard camper door. Um, I mean, not the most secure, but way more secure than a fabric tent. Um, you know, so the shade on the front, so people won't really be able to see you. Pretty private. And I mean, my dog definitely will not be able to escape out of this like she tries to now. So finally, I want to talk about the current progress on the material breakdown for weights and cost and sort of sourcing of the items I'm gonna get. So most of it's coming from a local metal shop, um, metal supermarkets, I believe it's called, and then T-Nuts for the extrusions, and then sort of local hardware stores, Metal Arts Home Depot for really the rest of the, the items required. Um, so right now, as a rough estimate, it's looking like about 425 pounds, and that's with all of the extra supports I have on the walls. I'm assuming I'm gonna be able to take a couple of these out. It's also not including the sunroof, um, but you know, again, this should be a pretty good estimate with the mattress, everything inside, the wiring, um, welding wire is gonna have to go into this secure everything together and then wiring lighting adhesives hinges all those sorts of things sort of all play into this i'm hoping to get this down under 400 fully loaded even with sheets um and that way even with people inside probably looking about 800 pounds total um that'd be awesome even with the dog 800 pounds so I'm not sure exactly when I'm gonna get these materials and actually start building. Um, I've got a trip planned, sort of a, a cross country trip planned in May of this year. I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish before that um, or if I get started before that. Definitely gonna make sure I'm sourcing the cheapest materials because that's sort of the main goal here. Um, and then maybe try to look around and see if I can find some similarly priced and easily to easy to work with materials like I've already chosen um, as, as well as looking for lighter materials but definitely stay tuned to see um, what I'm gonna do with this this is not a pipe dream I've already made the soft shell one this is just sort of the next step up Be sure let me know down in the comments below if you got any thoughts um, on different materials I should use um, around the same price as what I'm currently using um, and just sort of any other recommendations you have going for this project. I'm um, curious what you guys think about the hard-sided tents in general, sort of the trade-off between weight um, and security.